security guard named Sean worked as head guard for the Hill Security Department. He was an old brittle man that kept to himself. One night, the unexpected happened. Sean was caught peeking into the student locker room and was fired immediately. Sean couldn't take the embarrassment, so he viciously hopped into a security car and drove it into the town. Rumor has it that he still haunts the campus to this day. What you are about to see is real live footage of his attacks. discuss the death of Millie Baker, a student at the Hill School, who was hit by a security car earlier today. Willie tried to escape, but he suffered commutative breaks from his pelvis down. As we see here, the pelvic girdle includes the ischium, the ilium, the pubis, and the sacrum. In addition, he shattered both of his femurs, both of his patellas, his tibulas, fibulas, tarsals, metatarsals, phalanges, and calcaneuses. <laughs> His family is in shock at the loss of such a great man. He will be sorely missed. Hello again. We will now discuss the second student, which is Renee. She also was struck by a mysterious golf cart. She was struck in the chest cavity from behind, suffering breaks in her sternum as well as her ribs. As we see here, we have the true ribs, the false ribs, and the floating ribs. The blow also resulted in a simple fracture of her clavicles and her scapulas on both sides. In addition, she tried to brace the impact but failed, causing her to fracture her phalanges, her metacarpals, and her carpals, as well as her radius, ulna, and humerus in each arm. She was in need of many prayers at this time. Every wish of the best. <laughs> Welcome back. This is our third and final student of the day, Ms. Deanna. She was unexpectedly hit by the cart as well in the back. She ended up falling down the CFTA stairs. It was a horrific accident. Now we are going to describe exactly what happened to her. The crash resulted in a compound break in all regions of her spinal column. This includes the cervical, the thoracic, the lumbar, the sacrum, and the coccyx. The impact was so great that she fell on her face and suffered comminuted fractures in her mandible, maxilla, as well as numerous cranial bones, which includes the nasal, the zygomatic, the sphenoid, the frontal, 
the temporal, the occipital, and the par parietal. The funeral will be held tomorrow in the chapel, and the students are mourning tonight.